Hello and welcome to a new video about the magnetic field. This time we want to apply our law of induction of uh, our inductance at an example. Uh, stationary example, so stationary inductance is our topic. Uh, so what we do have is we have a loop uh, of some conductive material. Maybe I make it, it's not, it's not open here, it's closed, all right? So this is, this is the loop and we have a, a magnetic flux passing through this loop. Yeah? And now we want to apply our, our law. Yeah? I said, okay, sum of all u is minus d phi to dt and, and uh, here is that. How, what is sum of all u? There is only one u here, right? There's only one u and let's draw this with symbols again. So actually we have here our two clamps. Right? Then we have our loop. Our loop has also, of course, a resistance. This is not an ideal loop, this is a real loop. So we have to model a resistance R of our loop. Huh? Here we have our voltage U. Here we have our current I. And of course, we have passing through our magnetic flux Vv. Okay, let's right hand, uh, right hand uh, screw, right hand helix. Let's write down our loop law. It means sum of all ui equals zero volts. All right. So let's have a, a look at this loop. So we have minus u, and here we have also a voltage, and this voltage is plus i multiplied by r. Uh, I've implied that you know the Ohm's law because this is important. <laughs> so, and this is zero volts. This would be the result of the loop law. Okay. Now, you should not forget this R of the loop. Yeah. This is this is the, the law of induction. Sum of all ui equals minus the change rate, the negative change rate of the flux linkage. Okay. And now we can write it down. It's minus u plus i multiplied by r equals minus dvb dt. And this is the flux linkage, so it's actually minus n. If there's one, this, this n is now here one, yeah. But we would have more loops, yeah. The flux change over time. And this is actually the stationary inductance. Low. All right. And with this explanation, with this R here, I really hope that you understood understood where this this I times R is coming from, yeah? because actually this is not that easy. Yeah? It's not that easy because if I just would have drawn this and this is okay, this is the law yeah? applied, 
to this situation uh, but with this ex uh, with this uh, transition uh, so we trans we made here the transition to our model uh, I hope everybody could follow hmm. stationary inductance let's have a look what is happening in if we have an an open coil hmm. one case open coil open coil What actually means I is zero amps. What does it mean I is zero? What is left? Left is minus u, okay? Plus zero doesn't really matter. Minus n d phi d d. So my u equals n d phi d d. My voltage here equals n times the change rate, if I have n windings, n times the change rate of my magnetic flux. Huh? Right-hand orientation, like said, voltage is positive. Hmm? Now let's say what is at the short circuit. Coil. What does this imply? This implies the voltage is zero. So U equals zero volts. Uh, if we short circuit it here. Uh, so actually what is left is I times R equals minus N D phi D D. Uh, so if I want to calculate I, I equals minus N divided by R phi dt minus so the current is actually running in this direction then in the other direction then draw okay and if you keep it in mind and the, the signs and everything right hand oriented then everything fits together this is why I said okay it's important mm -hmm. this is this is important uh, that you keep in mind that minus and right hand orientation so on the right hand orientation of the current yeah. that's that so see the application it was not that easy as it previously sounds the induction law of induction is amazing oh, just at this this change right there yeah? but mm, you see there are specialists Next time we're talking about self-inductance and self-inductance of a coil because there is also some effects which we can see yeah? for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.